Hey wavy babies, it's Ocean Sims and welcome back to another episode of the 100 Vampire Baby Challenge. Okay you guys, so we are starting off this Tuesday afternoon with a text from Luca asking get you out of my mind lately you want to go on a date and get some lunch at soul cab and we're gonna say okay yes bae yes take us there take us out to eat for lunch thank you so much all right so luca is here right now he invited us out to eat at soul cafe which is this restaurant right here it is such a cute little restaurant i can't say it enough like i really really love it <laughs> um and lydia is just over here getting us a table and look at this baby bump. This baby bump is from Bryce. This is Bryson's baby in here. And, you know, Luca is being supportive of his future wife. You know, he he's seriously, he understands the mission and the goal. So he's not worried about it. Um, oh, my goodness. Lydia still wants to make out with Lestat. From the last episode, she wanted to make out with him. And she wants to make out with him again. And it's just like, are you kidding me? Why are you thinking about Lestat right now? Um, she also wants to be friendly with Jade, who she met at uh, the little Halloween party thing that I didn't really record for you guys. Well, that I tried to record for you guys, but it just didn't work out. Where are we sitting, babe? Where are we sitting? Look at how she's looking at him. This is this is like this reminds me of me and my husband. Me just looking at him while he's just looking somewhere else and not even knowing that I'm looking at him. But I just look at her just admiring his sexiness. Like I do that to my hubby and he'll turn around and be like, What what are you staring at? <laughs> you boo, you. <laughs> look at her. She is feeling flirty. He's feeling flirty. The fact that we already have him in a flirty mood. Oh babe, I will be right back. I have got to use the bathroom. <laughs> Go ahead, Lids. She has to throw up. <laughs> she really has to throw up. So I'm going to go ahead and have her take care of that. The smell of like the tacos and the whatever they have cooking here. Oh my God. It just like, go ahead and handle your business, baby girl. Oh my God. Look at that. You guys, Luca just flew here as a bat to check on his baby. Like, what is he doing over here? Chat with Luca. He came over here. He's like, babe, are you okay? She's like, why are you in the bathroom with me? I know it stings. I'm so sorry, honey. I'm so sorry. Look, he's talking about the baby um, clothes. He's like, you know, after this, we can probably go shopping for some baby clothes. Oh, Luca, could you be more, any more perfect? Like, seriously. Luca's like, come on, clean this up in here. I'm, why are you letting my girlfriend clean the toilet? <laughs> Calm down, boo. He came in here with the mop. He's good. He's good. Calm down. Are we good? We're good. Oh, my God. He is so sweet. Seriously, that's the thing about The Sims. Ooh, Luca, you really did have... Look, Zoe's in here cleaning up now. But Lydia's humble. She's going to help them clean up because it was her throw up. So, Ooh, my baby gets the job done, honey. Okay, you're not playing with me. You are... He is not playing. Oh, my God. Let me... Can I just admire you really quick, baby? He is not playing. He gets the job done. He's gentle, but he goes so hard. Like, he's so gentle, but he goes so hard. Can we please get a table? Oh, no, I don't want to give up my table. No, I do not want to give up my table. I don't want to give up my table. I want to sit at my table. Oh, request it. No, we don't want to join the spin masters. Oh my goodness. He seats us outside and we cannot, we cannot sit here. So I'm going to give up this table. Luca's like, dude, are you serious? This is, this is seriously just going so left for us. It really is. We're going to request this table right here. Um, and just hope and pray we can get this table we cannot be outside right now and that is the struggle as a vampire i'm telling you just the fact that you can't be outside um luca you better get your booty over here because if you die i will like seriously come over here and why are you dressed like this okay so luca seriously to, like overuses his vampire flying thing too much like he flies as a as a bat like <laughs> like so often okay so luca is looking at the menu lydia is feeling a little bit better but she doesn't really eat human food so she is just going to order something maybe like a drink or something so just keeping it really really simple i don't know if luca eats food or not 
um, like human food or not. I really don't know. But I will have Lydia get some lemonade. And <laughs> Luca is like, ooh, that lemonade kind of looks kind of good. You know how you, your significant other gets something and you're like, you know what? I think I want that too. <laughs> that is exactly what just happened. And let us see. They have some amazingly great choices. They literally have a little bit of everything. But I think Luca is just coming here to get something sweet and something small so it's going to be the bacon wrap donut <laughs> it's going to be the bacon wrap donut and Lydia is going to attempt to eat something which will be the bread pudding they don't really have a stomach for like Salute. super a p- super heavy lunch or anything it's like three in the afternoon and we need to get some skills up or something too <laughs> I feel like I've been slacking on the skills and the money making because we've just been surviving. But I do want to eventually make money so that we can, you know, have our own place, uh, a house for the girls and everything. Like, I really want to have a house that they can just run around in. We can have a pool and stuff. Oh, I don't know. Having having those nightly pool like swims. I don't know. But I'm super excited. Oh, baby girl's back hurts so bad. Her back, my neck, my back. Uh, get off your phone, Lydia. I'm, I'm having her get off her phone. She is still thinking of Lestat, even though Luca just gave her that amazing, like, sit, like freaking song. So I'm going to cancel this and dismiss it. You are dismissed. This thought is dismissed from her head because she knows that that's not right. And she is going to try her best to forget about what the heck happened that day. <laughs> it's just Luca wasn't present that day. So that made it really, really hard. Um, because Lydia is the type of woman that needs a lot of attention. Is it good? Oh, he likes his bacon wrap donut. I don't know how Liz is going to feel about this bread pudding. She's probably going to throw up after this. We will see. Um, but yeah, we are going to converse with our our lovely, lovely ah. Luca. Clearly, this is the guy for her. And she made a mistake. And I don't think she will ever tell him what she did. But um, <laughs> well, well, let's just hope she doesn't tell him what she did but she's gonna try and forget about her hooking up with the what is what is a vampire's favorite drink dracula oh like dracula but it's like dracula okay lids with the jokes yes baby my kisses are only for you i seriously feel some type of way about him like i really do i really do love him oh we could more timers calling me hold on I gotta take this call. Hey, Lydia, it's me, more timer. Do you want to go out on a date? <gasps> oh, snap. I could take advantage of this. I really could. I really could. Um, Because I'm trying to get closer to him. But it's still the sun is still out. And I can't really go. I'm just going to say no thanks. I'll pass. But I will link with him tonight. I will. I will. They are having a ball just laughing and giggling. Oh, what's wrong? She's feeling very uncomfortable. Oh, she has a stomach gurgle. She's got the uh, bubbly guts. Do you have to use it? Or do you have to throw up? Let's become best friends. Look, she didn't even touch her bread pudding, like naturally. She just didn't touch it because you guys know, according to the the facts, the archives here, um, as far as Lydia is concerned, she has a withered stomach, so she vomits whenever she eats human food too. So, Oh, and I just realized I have three PowerPoints. I could choose something. Vampire charm, Lydia's vampiric charms make her all the more effective at the game of love. I am going to do this. I think I'm going to do the vamp, um, the vampiric charm because I want her to be very effective at love because that's really what it goes around. We are becoming best friends with Luca. Why not? He is so cute. I love him so much. Oh my goodness. I am going to, <laughs> I want to ask him to be my boyfriend so bad. I'm going to declare my eternal love for Luca. And I don't think I've done this yet. I did do that in the first episode of the challenge with the stop because instantly, like I said, it felt like love at first sight for Lydia. She felt like Lou, la, 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 all these L's. Lydia felt like Lestat was the love of her life. It wasn't real and it wasn't true. So this is true. This is real. This is everything we could have asked for. I just love you. <clears throat> All right. So we have Luca here um, in front of our house right now. Oh, my goodness. 
This is so cute. Look at this, you guys. So we have Luca in front of our house right now. And, you know, we just invited him back. Here he goes flying as a bat again. I swear he flies like a bat so much. I'm going to bond with our bees. We can't sell any honey right now because there's not enough to collect. I can't freaking plant anything because it's winter time and I need a greenhouse. I really do. Um, but until then, oh, look at him. He's reading. <laughs> I think, uh, let's see here. Oh, oh, she's just, she's so cute. Okay. So she, Cordelia is playing with blocks and she just ate some food and she's just chilling. Oh my goodness. Our baby. Let's cuddle her. And oh, so Luca is finally bonding with his baby. You guys remember last episode, I could not get Luca for the world of me to see his daughter because he was just so swamped and busy with whatever he had going on but instead of assuming Lydia should have just you know literally it's the next day after and seriously the dude is here holding his baby girl and just bonding with her like she just started crying and he already just went in there <laughs> I love it today is her birthday today is her birthday which I think is crazy someone comment down below how long babies um, are here I guess until they age like how long how many days is it until babies age into toddlers because for some reason I literally just had her the other day and now it's already her birthday so I don't know if it's a glitch in my system or <laughs> I don't know what it is I think Cordelia is going to talk to Luca just talk to him and bother him because she's like hey I'm starting to see you around a lot more like who are you because <laughs> you're not my dad she knows who her dad is she really does um which is the sad part. What are you talking about, baby girl? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, Okay, so our baby girl's sleeping. Y'all better not talk too loud in there because I just got Zuri down. Look at Zuri. She's so cute. Um, What's wrong? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm in the third trimester. <gasps> Lydia's just running to the bathroom to do what? To throw up? Oh, my gosh. Okay, so Bryce's baby is seriously killing her right now seriously this is crazy i'm gonna have her take a relaxing bath oh my gosh i really don't want to spend the money i'm just gonna have her take a bubble bath <laughs> wow she just threw up on her own accord i feel so so bad oh my goodness i really want luca to be around but i guess where did he go okay so he just left but i'm not tripping i'm really not who made this i did not make this or did i i don't know oh luca he's right there he took out our trash oh my god you see this man is so perfect you guys i cannot make this up i really cannot let's see oh she's in her second trimester i thought she was in her third she's in her second trimester still but the baby is just it feels like the first trimester all over again because she just ran to the bathroom to throw up <laughs> So I think she's going to have a snowball fight with, or not have a snowball fight, but she will build a snow pile with Cordelia and then she'll um, do that with Astrid also. But you know, it's her girl's kind of like first snow in a sense, and they haven't really had time to play in the snow. And I feel really bad about that. <laughs> I feel really bad about that. All right, come on, let's build this snow pile, girl, because mama has got to work. I right when 12 o'clock hits, I want to already be out doing something. I was going to link with more time or later, but I really don't know how I feel about that. I kind of want to hang out with some of the new townies that you guys created for this LP. And I actually met one in the last episode. I'm not sure if you guys saw him or not, but I met one of them in the in the last episode which you will see shortly because i'm thinking about hanging out with him and oh my god i love his story i love all of their stories you guys are so amazing seriously so 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 amazing oh my god he's reading a book she asked him to read a book to her and he is he had no problem he was like sure what do you want to read like I, I would be more than happy to read you a book oh my goodness look how she's looking at him you guys <gasps> my heart oh lydia de la rosa is now a prime vampire she is growing more powerful every night <laughs> be sure to learn some new vampire powers wow so she is now a prime vampire lydia is a prime vampire and i'm growing more powerful so i'm going to choose a cult uh, master 
with the occult master power it says a master manipulator of occult power lydia has finessed her vampiric energy used to the ultimate in efficient efficiency the cost of using all powers is significantly re significantly reduced oh i cannot talk today but i just chose that because it's like hey okay you know use less energy because i need all of the energy i can get <laughs> i really really do i really do um let's us go ahead and head out now oh wait we, i wanted to um I'm going to just go ahead and age up Zuri before I head out because I only have like a couple of hours. So we will go ahead and age her up. Come oh my goodness, you guys. I did this the randomizer for the traits and it chose Zuri to be clingy. These shy toddlers avoid Sims outside the household and get sad if left behind. They gain extra skill when taught and they recover faster from bad moods when comforted. I think this is so fitting because baby Zuri is a handful and oh my goodness. Look at you, mama. You're so cute. Wow, she's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, you guys. I could just die. I am so, I am just so like, is this real? Oh my God, she's so gorgeous. Okay, so Lydia decided to have some mommy and me time. We have the girls down. They're being... I'm sent to daycare right now. Ooh, I see Zoe and I also see our um, most recent baby donor person. Okay. Wow. So Lydia walked inside the club. But look who is walking in. This is Mr. Victor Sinclair. Oh my goodness. I did not know I would be seeing one of you guys' townies here already. I actually want to see him in his, in his regular clothes. So I'm going to change his outfit and see what he looks like. Okay, so here comes Victor Sinclair in a much um, uh, vampiric outfit, I guess you would say. <laughs> but yes, he is part of the Sinclairs, a Sim family or a Sim household made by someone by the name of Servery. It's like C V R I I E. Um, yes, I, don't, I think that's how you spell it. But I, I remember these Sims. They are iconic to me because they look so royal. I wish he would have brought his sisters in because I know he has sisters. Look at him. I'm going to definitely introduce myself to him. And I think I want to turn on my alluring visage with this too. Let's put Lydia in her alluring visage so that we can, um, you know. Holla at this dude. Where is he? Oh my goodness, look at all the guys. All the guys are swoon over Lydia right now because we are using our alluring visage. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I am going to go ahead and ask about Victor's day. Are we starting off at the wrong foot already? Hmm, can I go ahead and flirt with you, Dominic? Can we flirt? And oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Who are you? I need to talk to you. <laughs> I really do. Who is he? Brandon Cardwell. Yes, actually, we show we showed we saw him at um, the spooky day party that we had a couple days ago. Ooh, is this alluring massage working? Can I just go ahead and knock knock joke? Wow. Okay, you guys are swoon over me. Yes, this is amazing. This I I am liking this a little too much. Um, let's ask about its career just because we can't. And hold on, where did Victor go? Oh, Victor is right there. Okay, I am actually going to keep flirting with Dominic for virus. I think that's how you say his last name. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, we are going to just flirt with him and stuff because we already have a relationship with him. So he will probably be the next victim if not more timer um i could probably ask more timer to get here actually let's see i think it's too late though it's like four in the morning um but i will have victor on standby awaiting me but i will develop a relationship you know you know okay me and dominic need to go somewhere um just a little more quiet uh we have some gaming stuff up here there's a lot of things to do in this club i like this little area right there but i think what we're going to do is come right here in this little karaoke lounge parts of the actual shindig it's going to be so cute oh my goodness look at this i'm just trying to get to know you boo i'm just trying to get to know you and set you up 
because I, I need to have them lined up. I've been slacking on the work in. I've been kind of slacking on everything. So I am seriously just trying to uh, catch up and put myself ahead of the game. I need to start making money again. Like, <laughs> I don't even know if I will have time to. Uh, but I've just been right. having so much fun playing and building relationships. Like, I have out. not been pressed <laughs> at all. Okay. Ooh, make a move. Could we make a move? Could we go ahead and do that? I'm going to ask you about your day. I'm going to go ahead and turn him into a vampire right now. Ooh, he's self-assured. Mm, I like him confident, boo. Okay. <laughs> yes, for the confidence. No, but seriously, I'm going to go ahead and turn him into a vampire now so that in a couple days he will already be one. Because in a couple days, I'm going to pop this one out and I need somebody else. Oh, Lord, she done switched dresses. I forgot to update her vampire outfits, too. That's why she's in her old dress. Oh, Lord. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, my God. Now that I turned him into a vampire, we kind of lost a little bit of the, the love. There he goes. Someone else drinking the blood, drinking the blood. Oh, my goodness. This is trippy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, be careful. I'm pregnant. Just chill out a little bit. Your stomach's gonna hurt a little bit, but it's cool. Come on, let's get this relationship up. Yep, in a few days' time, you will have the true essence, the true essence of a vampire. But let us exchange exchange numbers. What else can we do? Um, confess attraction. I really just want to try and get to kiss him and already have that relationship because sis is sis is about to pop. She really is. She's going to be popping in, in a couple of hours, actually. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that's that's the thing about the Sims. You have a baby real quick, man. It just flies by. But that toddler stage, the most gruesome stage of the whole life stage, like, man, that for some reason with toddlers, it feels like they stay toddlers forever. Yes, let's first kiss. Let us first kiss. What happened? What happened? Wait, can we still first kiss? No, we better be able to first kiss. Oh my goodness, today is technically winter fest. Oh, that's so cute. Um, can we first kiss, please? Okay, we're giving Dominic a kiss. Yep, we did that. We really, really did that. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> we need to get home because we need to decorate for winter fest really quick. Lydia, oh my gosh, we are slacking so hard right now. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end the part right here. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this part of the video or the series or whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, if you like what you saw, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. And yeah, peace out, y'all.